It's an ugly subject. People don't want to talk about all the bad things that are out there, all those things that happen that are real. We raise our children to be gentle spirits, particularly our females. Don't fight baby brother, don't pull hair, don't scream. And then at 17 or 18, we send them off and hope that they're protected and they're not. And it's not their fault and it's not the parents' fault. I've lived it, my team has lived it. We give people the permission not to be a victim and that's what we try to teach. Uh, we're not a security company, we're not a fight school. When we teach vigilance, and awareness. We, it really boils down to preparation, decision making, and seconds count. I was born out of 20 years in the service. I said, man, how can I make this happen for civilians and teach them how to be aware, how to avoid, how to take action. Then in 2008, it really hit home. I had a daughter that was at a Southern University and there was a brutal uh, abduction, uh, sexual assault and murder on this campus. My daughter calls me and said, Dad, something terrible has happened. The sorority that I mentor, a hundred girls scared to death. They don't know what to do. When you were in the service, you used to teach how to escape and survive. Would you come down and speak to my sorority? I thought I was going to speak to a hundred girls. I said, no, 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 you got the basketball arena. And I spoke to 2,000 girls. No audio visual support, just my knowledge and my passion. And from there, the vigilance group was born. We started with one university. We've gone to multiple high schools, churches. We've done businesses now, hands-on workshops, keynote speaking engagements. We come in and tell them who we are. They're shy. They're not sure they want to hear this. Some are strong women, some are strong men, some are not so much. When we talk about vigilance, we talk about awareness, we talk about intuition, understanding what intuition does to your body. We talk about fear. Fear is, is, can be your worst nightmare or it can be your best friend, depending on how you respond to it. But you have to be trained in that. That's just not something that I can accept, we tell them about it and we, and we make them understand it. The most important takeaway is you're never stronger, faster, or more cognitive than probably in that first 15 seconds. By the time we finish, man, it's fun in terms of their attitudes, their strength, the way they stand taller, the way they come up and say, man, I learned something, I had no idea, thanks for sharing this with me. What we do is unusual, it's unique, we're proud of what we do. We're passionate about it, which is the most important part. We think it's never been more needed than it is now. We often say, if it's not us, who's going to do it? I'm Moose Moore, the Vigilance Group. Go to our website, learn more about what we do, and give us a call. We teach people how to live safely in a dangerous world because you can't be replaced.